Hey there guys, Paul here from TheEngineeringMindset.com. In this video, we are going to be looking at FCUs. FCU stands for Fan Coil Unit. Now, Fan Coil Units are very common in all types of buildings, from offices, bars, canteens, even some homes and maybe apartments will have a Fan Coil Unit in them. Fan Coil Units are used to condition the local air to suit the temperature requirements of the immediate space. So as you can see in this model here, we've got this space here and there's a fan coil unit in there uh, with, with the ductwork going off to feed the various parts. And then on the fan coil unit, we've got these two, we've got these pipes running to it, which are the heat it, or the cooling and heating coils inside and the air which is being supplied to there is being treated and distributed through these local ductworks um, to supply the required air. So in this building model here, you can see we've got the main AHU here, and that, that's supplying fresh air through this main duct all the way along to the rooms. Um, and branches will come off of this, and they will feed fresh air into the space. Each space will need a certain amount of fresh air per hour entering into the space. So you'll have a branch coming off, and that will feed the fresh air into there. So this fresh air is directed into the uh, the back, the inlet of the fan coil unit, and uh, it's usually not connected though, there's a gap in between, there is a reason for that which we'll look at later, and so that fresh air enters into the, the box, it gets sucked inside here as a fan, we'll have a look inside that shortly, and that air gets uh, heated or cooled um, and pushed out through these diffusers into the space. Now some of that air will recirculate up through the false ceiling, through those grills we looked at, and into uh, it back into this box here, whereas some of the air will be picked up into this return duct and that will be uh, sucked by a fan here and pushed out of the building. So the fan coil units are located up in the ceiling. So this is a false ceiling in an, a typical office and here you can see these diffusers. These are the supply diffusers so that, that treated tempered air is being supplied into uh, this office here where it can circulate there and all of it gets sent back up through these uh, return grills. If that false ceiling wasn't there, it would look something like this. So we here we've got a fan coil unit, and uh, we've got these uh, the ductwork which is supplying the air. These are also diffusers; they're just slightly different from the square ones we saw just a second ago. Um, so this fan coil unit is sucking up all the air in this space, and it's passing it across here. There's a fan inside and it's pushing it across a heating and cooling coil which treats the air to the right temperature that it's set to for this area and that air is then pushed out through these ductworks to be supplied out through these uh, diffusers where just where they're required. So this is the supply duct here and as you can see the uh, the fresh air is coming in and is entering into the space above this false ceiling here into the void above there. Now this enters, this fresh air enters into the fan coil unit and passes through the fan, there's a filter etc. We'll have a look at that in a moment also. Um, once that air is treated to the, the temperature it requires, it's then pushed out through the diffusers and out into the space. That pushes the air in the room, uh, the, the dirty and the kind of used air, up and that will then push this through the, the, the return grill and back into the ceiling void. Now that air is mixed again with some fresh air and pushed through, so that loop continues. Meanwhile, some of this return air that enters into this void is actually sucked up by this uh, duct here. So any air that makes it to this part will be sucked out and that will be um, pushed out back out to atmosphere. Let's just have a look inside a fan coil unit to see some of its components. So if we remove the lid, we can have a look at the inside of the fan coil unit. And as you can see, it's, it's actually fairly simple in design. So this is the air inlet, so it comes through this face here. This is just a removable filter. So the filters look something like this. Um, they can just be pulled off and they, they can just be cleaned or they can be replaced. And that just tries to stop the, the dust and stuff coming in because that's going to be sent out through the local uh, ductwork around the office. So the filters are just there to try and clean some of that air and remove the dust. Once that air is pulled through the filters, 
uh, into the space here it enters into the fans now in the fan cool unit you can have just one fan there may be two fans there may be three fans there could be more but two fans is fairly common uh, in fan cool units so driving these is uh, a small motor in the middle there so that motor there um, is just located in the middle and that is connected to uh, the fan blades inside the fans now these fans are usually quite small maybe around 80 watts or something like this and they've, they've got this, uh, this shaft through the middle and so on this you can connect multiple fans so you might have uh, some fan blade cage here and another one on this side that could even be extended to have um, a third cage on there as well so that air is then forced uh, by the, these fans out here and then into this this box here this part here contains the heating and cooling coils now the heating and cooling coils um, they just heat the air up or cool it down depending on the requirements for the local environment you may have just one coil in there it could just be a cooling coil or it could just be a heating coil um, or you may have both of them like this where the air can be heated or cooled so these coils are fed uh, say this one's the heating coil here so this is fed hot water from the boiler and this coil here is the cooling one so this is fed cold water from the chiller so we just change the view there um, so now the air is coming through here and to, imagine it's coming towards the screen so if this was the heating coil then hot water is going to be entering um, through this pipe here and it makes its way all the way around and as it does so it loses some of its heat or if it was the cooling coil uh, as well as that loses some of its thermal energy and transfers that over into the air which is being forced um, out towards the screen and that's what changes the temperature of the air now if you are cooling the air uh, using a cooling coil then you are going to generate quite a bit of condensation so as that warm air is being picked up from the space and being pushed by this fan into the, the heating and cooling chamber um, when it hits the coil it's going to start to condense if you're cooling it so this water um, which will run off and it will collect in this drip tray at the bottom here and so you also need a pipe work um, to take that water away and in the the right months in the summer for etc in the UK um, that's really going to be quite a lot of water you're generating but after the air has passed across these coils it enters into the discharge plenum and this is what is connected uh, to the local ductwork and to the diffusers so uh, you may have many uh, holes on here and these will all be sent off through ductwork out to wherever it's required this is how the fans will look in the real world so here we've got the two fan chambers mounted to one motor and here we've got just a single fan uh, with its very own motor now the cooling coils or well, the heating and cooling coils do not necessarily have to be on this side of the fan it kind of varies by manufacturer um, so these coils could also be before the fans uh, so that the air is coming in passing through the filter passes over the coils first and then is sucked by the fans and pushed out but this is a, a very common uh, example now I've put in this model that there are the uh, the coils and that there's water passing through these to, to give up the temperature as required you may also find that there's uh, an AC unit or refrigerant um, doing exactly the same job as this one uh, and the heating one could be electric also it usually depends on the size and location of the fan coil and, and the, the room but this water type is very common in large buildings especially office buildings so looking at this uh, schematic here of uh, how the fan cool units works we've got the main AHU over here and that's supplying the air uh, down through these ducts and it's supplying each of the rooms um, now not all of the fan cool units will have this uh, fresh air duct to them you can see this one here does not have that however each room will have a fresh air connection because there is a requirement obviously for each room to have a certain amount of fresh air per hour 
So that fresh air is supplied, and you can see in this example, it's coming through this duct here. And this is the filter, this is the inlet for the fan cool unit. So it's not connected and that air will be blown on, onto here, but also um, into the void. That filter can just be removed. You can see here it's uh, slightly not joined there. So this can just be pulled off or slid out um, depending on the design. And that can either be cleaned or just thrown away and replaced with a new one. As you can see a slightly different view there. So again, we've got the fan coil unit there with the air entering and this is the fresh air being supplied here. And the tempered air is leaving and coming out through these ducts here. You can also tell it's tempered by these colored arrows here pointing in the direction of the flow and indicating that the air could be hot or cold. Now on the coils, if they are supplied by um, hot or chilled water, then as you can see here, so we've got the boiler which is uh, feeding into the AHU for the main one. And it also has a flow and return pipe and that runs along the ceiling and connects and branches off to each of the, uh, the fan cool units. There's also a chiller and this is providing chilled water off to the main AHU and then down into each of the fan cool units as well. So up in the ceiling, you're gonna see a lot of pipes like this. So here you can see we got the heating flow. So that's going this way in the, the direction of the arrows. These, uh, the colored bands also indicate this. And then we've got the return. So once that is given up its heat, it comes back and heads back to the boiler. Again on this one, so we've got the chilled water flow. So it's flowing in this direction. I think the arrow is actually wrong there, but uh, and then with the chilled water return here as well. So this is going to the, the fan cool units and this is returning and going to the chiller. And these connections look something like this where they're connecting off into the cooling coils. And you can see here, them just branching off there from the main uh, risers that pass along the ceiling. And these are just branching off and feeding into the fan cool unit. Now the main AHU that's supplying all the fresh air uh, for the building into the spaces, this does not necessarily have to have these additional requirements in there for, for heating and cooling coils. It could just be 100% fresh air being pushed in and pushed out. So it could be something uh, just like this where the air is passing straight in, off into the spaces, and that air is then picked up and sent and pushed out of the building. You'll probably just have some filters on the supply there though but you're still gonna have your connections to the chillers and the boilers feeding off uh, onto the fan cool units, unless of course your cooling is supplied by a refrigeration unit and uh, the heating could be electric. Okay, that is it for this video on fan cool units. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and this has helped you. If it has, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Visit our website, theengineeringmindset.com. We're also on Facebook, Google, and Twitter.